He's dead. Someone or something attacked him. It was obvious that there was some pervasive danger throughout the facility. I didn't know what had brought Adam here, but I did know that cooperation was imperative if we were to restore safety. Adam, listen to me. Clearly this facility is in complete disorder. It might be too dangerous for your men to go alone. That's why I've... Samus, looks like I'm going to need to ask for your cooperation on this mission, but I'm also going to have to ask that you follow my commands. You don't move unless I say so, and you don't fire until I say so. Any objections, lady? The thumbs-up sign had been used by the Galactic Federation for ages. Me? I was known for giving the thumbs down during briefing. I had my reasons, though. Commander Adam Malkovich was normally cool and not one to joke around. But, priority one but he would end all of his mission any briefings by saying, bring them to Any objections, lady? He was joking, but others weren't. At the time, I felt surrounded by people who treated me like a child, or used kid gloves because I was a woman. And yet with Adam, I was grateful for the nod. 
My past has left me with an uneasy soul, and as a result, it touched me on some level that Adam would acknowledge that past by calling me something delicate, like Lady. And I knew more than anyone that every word from Adam was deliberate. My thumbs down was a twofold response. A sign of derision at being called a lady, and a signal of my complete understanding of the mission orders. The other soldiers were always willing to support me with easy smiles despite the fact that I clearly had so much yet to learn. Among them was Anthony. In the face of his well-meaning behavior and that of the other soldiers, my response was to become increasingly bitter. I was a child, always with something to prove, a chip on my shoulder. And I was angry. I felt that if I let my guard down, I would easily be broken. And beyond that, I was scared. But even in the naivete of my youth, I could see in Adam's joking manner how close he felt to me. Adam knows my past, and he knows me better than anyone else. Confession time. Because I was so young when I lost both of my parents, there's no question I saw Adam as a father figure. When I rebelled against him, I knew I could get away with it. And his paternal compassion in the face of my rebellion reinforced the special bond I felt with him. I understood well that chances were slim that I would ever find anyone that understood me like Adam. And yet, when the time came, I still left his side. I was so young. Young and naive. Exactly what transpired here on the battleship is still uncertain. Here's what we do know. The equipment we thought had been destroyed is operational again. And we've seen casualties attributed to an unidentified and lethal creature. The situation is critical. We need to gather all the information we can, but priority one is to find any survivors and bring them to safety. Consider this site extremely dangerous. Be careful as you make your sweeps. And there's one problem. The wireless interference in this facility is all pervasive. Your comm systems are useless. As a result, communication channels will be limited to the facility's navigation booths. Well then, Lyle, investigate Sector 1 and show a little restraint with the explosives. Gotcha. Maurice, you cover Sector 2. Repair any equipment you come across. Affirmative. Anthony, you're Sector 3. I'll leave it to you to decide whether plasma guns are called for. All right! James, check out the control bridge. Our communication issues might be the result of electrical interference. Yes, sir! And KG, run a complete sweep of the residential quarters and investigate any trace of survivors. Got it! Each of you is authorized to use a freeze gun. Do not forget to check in regularly via navigation booths. And Samus, you go to the system management room. Do everything you can to get the electrical system back up and running. Looks like your comm system is still functional. Remember, everything you see will also appear on this screen. Regarding auxiliary weapons, the use of bombs has been authorized. As far as your other weapons go, we will continue to investigate and authorize use as we can. However, we currently have no plans to authorize the use of power bombs. As you know, they have the ability to spread a high temperature heat wave over a large area, impacting living things. Which is a nice way of saying they can vaporize humans instantly. You should be well aware of how dangerous power bombs are, and how their devastation can't be obstructed with common materials. Once the mission in the system management room is complete, I need you to report back. I'll give you your next orders then. I want you all to be especially careful as you execute your missions. 
That's the end of the briefing. It was the first joint mission I'd been a part of since becoming a freelance bounty hunter. And of course, it was the first time since my Federation days that I was following the orders of a commanding officer. Having received mission orders from Adam, I felt confused and strangely exhilarated at the unexpected turn of events. I responded. Understood, Adam. No objections, of course.